Hey everybody, I'm Billy Mills, the Crafty Floridian, and I live in Florida, and it's a very cloudy Sunday afternoon. I wasn't going to do a video today, but then I got some stuff in that just, they've been delivering mail to my front door all day. I can't believe it. I had some Amazon packages, then I just got these two boxes from uh, Colorado Springs, and it says hats for kids. So it must be hats for kids. So we, I don't know who they're from, but we're going to check it out, okay? Well, I got you. But I want to say, um, first of all, I want to show you something. And I just loved it. I loved doing this. You know, I made, I make, I made um, this, this little sweater and this little hat. For Hannah for her baby girl and I finished it and the hat I did it last night I stayed up as late as I could I wanted to get it finished I worked on it on Friday when I was at my sister's but uh, it's a free pattern and it's um, Sige Anna baby cardigan it looks like it was designed by Christina Anna Make a job. I'm sorry I messed up that last name I just I can't pronounce it but it's a beautiful pattern yeah it's just beautiful it, the one in color is gorgeous they when you print the pattern out it comes out black and white and not and not um, whatever and I used this DK anti-peeling DK colors and the color was wisteria and this is a, a three ply or three number three three ply it is three ply isn't it? like three and um, you can just wash machine wash and tumble dry normal I'm not washing this I'm gonna send it to her and let her wash it because um, because um, I don't have any baby baby stuff to do it in and I put a little bit of yarn always put a little bit of yarn with your projects uh, with the with the washing instructions and all that when you do something for somebody or you try to do that okay because you never know if they might get a little hole or something might come loose you know try this all right first of all I'll show you the the sweater it is so cute. I mean, so cute. I wish I was a baby. So here's the sweater. And see, isn't that cute? It really, it really turned out nice. That's the back. And this is really the only place you can see the change there in the color. But that's all right. But the little sleeves, I don't even know if they're even. They might be even. Let's see. Yeah, they're pretty even. If you I haven't been pulled or blocked or anything, but I'm going to let her do that. I don't do that kind of stuff. But I found these, but I have a button, a button, um, a button box. And I found these little purple buttons and I said, they're perfect. I did, I was going to put little kitty cats on it and then I was going to put little flip flops on it, but it didn't look very nice. So I wanted it to look nice. So here's the little sweater. And as you can see the design, there's the star stitch and front post back post um, um, front post back post double crochet and uh, I don't know I think it came out cute I love it I just love it so last night I did the um, fold that it's hard to fold that I did the little hat so here's the little hat for the little baby and it's got the same pattern as as the sweater does and this is the star stitch here and then all the other stuff in between but isn't that cute it's purple and 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 uh, this color here is a deep teal color you can't really and this is a dark purple I mean it's very bright for, for me but it's just a tiny little hat for a three month old so I'm gonna try to I'm gonna get this in the mail to Hannah this week so she'll have it She'll have it soon, get, get it washed up. But it just, I just think it's a darling little set. Just darling. 
I like it very, very much. And I like this, this uh, working with this yarn. Now I have to say I did have to, I got my right side, my left side, my right side, left side screwed up on one of the sleeves and I had to redo it. But, um, cause they're all different. Everything's different. And it's just, you know, it's just a cute, cute little sweater and I enjoyed making it. So that's for Hannah's little baby. And I just put this right in the bag in here. So it was good to, to finally get that finished. And um, I'm right now, I wanted to show you, I'm working, I took the material that was given to me and I made, made bowl cozies with the polka dots. Isn't that cute? Now this is for somebody. Somebody's already is getting this. They're getting two of these and two of the panda ones. If you could see how bright this is, I know you can't see it here, but the color is just so deep as is with this. It just, I just love it. So that's what I've been doing this afternoon, making bowl cozy. Yeah, I got one more here to make so that I can get this, my hair sticking out like a rooster. Yeah. So that I can get these in the mail tomorrow. Just got to sew one more. So in uh, speaking of mail, was I speaking about mail? Probably not, but anyway, let me have a little bit more of my uh, international coffee. So in the mail, that I, I got these two boxes, and we'll open those in a minute. And then I got um, this beautiful card. Um, from Judy. I know who you, I know it's Judy, right? Yeah, Judy. I got this beautiful card from Judy. Isn't that pretty? I love, you know, I love butterflies, so that is just gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Yeah, so, um, so that's from Judy. Then I got a Christmas card, and this Christmas card is from Robin, Robin Lawson. Isn't that pretty? I love it. I haven't put it on my thing yet, so I wanted to show you first. Isn't that pretty? I just love it. Thank you so much. My yarny friend. Love it. Thank you so much. I put that away. Then I got some stitch markers from Rose, Rose, Rose Likes Crochet, and she sent these um, from Shirley. Thinking of you and all the wonderful work you do, hope this will help you with all my love, Shirley. Thank you, Shirley, so much. And she sent me a whole bunch of dog stitch markers. They have little little dogs on the bottom. Isn't that cute? I love them. And then this one's got color and little paw prints. These are the little bags that I sent back to Rose. <laughs> recycle, baby. Recycle. And there's some more paw prints. Have pretty colors. And another thing of little dogs on the bottom. So I think Shirley wanted me to have a lot of dog stitch markers, and I got them, Shirley, and I thank you with all my heart. I just love them. So they're going to go in my basket, and I'll send this back to Rose in her, her purple little bag. Send that back to her, and she put it in a little purple bag, so I can throw that in the trash. But thank you so much, Shirley. I really appreciate it. Okay, next thing we're going to do is we're going to go, go into this box and see what we got here. It's packed. Oh my goodness. You know, I, someone was sending these to me and I can't remember who it was. But they're, look at this a scarf. This is done in purple. Nice scarf. Looks like double crochets across. Oh, it's so soft. Mmm, mmm, smells good too. 
and oh my gosh, this thing is packed full of hats. All different size hats. Look at this. Oh my goodness gracious, look at these hats. Little ones. Look at this. That's purple. Oh, the blue, this is purple. It's coming out blue. Why does that happen? Why can't they fix that? Look at these little hats. They're so cute. I think if it's okay with you, if it's okay with you, I'm going to save some of these for the reservation. So especially the real tiny ones. Like this one. This will be great. It's purple. But for a preemie, yeah, you better believe it. And toddlers. Isn't, aren't these cute? Are these, yeah, they're crocheted. There's some, oh, this, it's packed. But I am, I'm going to save a lot of these for, definitely, for the uh, reservation. And speaking of that, look at this one, that's so pretty. Um, the, um, we're on for, for the making the, the, for the baby shower uh, project for the uh, Pine Ridge Reservation. And I think I read you what they needed was hats, booties, sleep bags, blankets of all sizes, receiving blanket size to crib size, stuffed toys, bibs, sweater sets, etc. That would all be helpful. So in, you know, in that range for the, oh, look at this. I mean, yeah, I could say some of these are, will definitely go to the reservation. A purple scarf. Well, then, oh, now look how that came out. That's a true color there. Isn't that strange? And another scarf. It's like a, a brick red. It's red. And some more scarves. A blue one and a yellow one. A blue one, a pink one. They're all the same. All of these are. So let's. Now I'm not going to be able to get the back in the box the way they came. So pile them up here. I don't. I don't know how y'all do it. You pile them in there, and I'm trying to pile them back in, and I'm not going to get them. Now there's a second box. Let's put this over on the floor. And here's the second box. That was so sweet to put that on there. That. Immediately, I thought, now, I didn't order anything from Colorado Springs. Colorado. I love Colorado, though. Oh, my God. Look at these hats. I'm just going to pick this one out. Look at that one. Isn't that pretty? So, this is full of hats also. Oh, just tons of them. I don't want to take them out because I'll never be... Oh, some of these are just... Look at this. Now, this will be great for a toddler or a little preemie. Isn't that cute? I am. I'm going to I am going to go through them. There's scarves in here. But I am going to go through them, and I'm going to pull the, um, the little ones out for the... Let's see. Uh, like, look at that green. Isn't that pretty? It's the lime green. The deep lime green. Then there's orange in this one. They're all um, basically the same to have a uh, double crochet. I'll look at this green and peachy color, pink color. Look at that, she's got a whole, whole gamut full. Oh, look at this one. This is definitely for a toddler. I hope you don't mind, honey, but I'm going to do that. Definitely going to do that. There's no, I don't see any notes. Look at these. Why do I get all this mystery stuff? Yep, that's it. No notes or anything. Oh, that's a pretty blue. An orange. There's Laura's favorite color and mine is orange. Beautiful hats. Thank you so much. And I'm definitely going to go through and pull the little ones and hold those over for the uh, reservation. These little hats. They'll appreciate those. Oh, gosh, yes. We're going to kill two birds with one stone. Wonderful. Thank you so much. M.O. M.O. from Colorado Springs.
Mo. Like Maureen? M-O? Mo? I don't know. But thank you so much for the hats. They're just wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful. The only other thing that I made is I made... Um, oh. I made a couple new purses. Most of them are gone, but I made this one. And the cat... See the cat? It's a pen. This is a pendant. If you see the cat right here is like a little fish in a fish bowl. Isn't that cute? I wanted more of them, but I, they only had two. And I already made um, one and sent it to someone. So this is the second one. Now those were the only two that they had. And this was when I went in to Hobby Lobby that day. And there's more stuff. You can get better stuff if you go to the store than you can online. Oh, I know it's sad. But anyway, I can't. I can't. Oh, I'll tell y'all a story in a minute. And then I made this one. It has a pretty blue cross on it. it has little jingle jangles. So these are, I'm running out of cord. So I went to try to order some from Hobby Lobby. They don't have any yellow. They have the six, the four, but the two, and it kept saying out of stock, out of stock. So it's really kind of POing me because I could buy it at Hobby Lobby for $3.99. If you go to Amazon, they have it on special for $10, $10 to $11. I think that's, I think that is, that is such a markup. Oh my God, it just broke my heart. So I have, um, these two little coin purses. Ow, ow. Oh, excuse me, guys. I don't want that to peel. So I do have some green and some white. So I'll be making some more, um, you know, coin purses. In fact, I'll probably be doing it maybe today. I'll make some more. And I have this little kitty cat. Whoops. Little piece of paper there. I have this little kitty cat. This is pink on pink. Isn't he cute? Or she with her ball of yarn there and this one I I think this is too big for this so I think I'm gonna take her off and um, put a different a different thing here so I'm, I'm gonna set this aside because I think I'm gonna take this cat off and do a smaller one so um, so yeah so I've been you know making a few more so I'm getting them there's the one with the cross. And I had this, and I said, oh, it's blue. I don't make that many blue because blue is hard to get. So I said, well, I'll dangle that down. And then you have that and the little dangles. So, yeah, I like that one, too. So, but this one, I'm going to take that um, take that little face off. But I wanted to, to, um, to tell you that if you want to start... Um, making things for the reservation, I think it would be wonderful. I mean, the whole idea that um, that they ask that I notify you now is so that you can start. And um, I, I should be getting more details later after they finish the Christmas drive. So um, I think it's wonderful. And, and people that haven't um, dared try make baby clothes or, or toddler clothes or sweaters or whatever, Hey, this is the time. It just go on and, and look for some um, patterns. You know, just Google baby, baby, um, whatever you want to make for baby, baby hats, toddlers. They're all on everywhere. Etsy, YouTube, and find you a nice pattern that, um, that you can... Um, you know, if you're a beginner, just do a beginner pattern. Don't try to um, don't try to advance yourself too fast because then you'll you'll get confused on some of the stitching and stuff. So um, so let's get started, everybody. Let's start making uh, baby uh, baby and infant and um, toddler things that I you know talk to you about. And if you want to make little crib crib and receiving blankets and stuff like that go for it but nothing bigger than a, a crib size please let's just keep it with what they want and um, 
so yeah and I've decided I'm sending the the sweater my little sweater Ooh, my cute little sweater so I'm sending my sweater and hat to Hannah the uh, blanket I think what I'm gonna do is uh, finish that and I'll, I'm gonna send that to the reservation yeah I think I am and then I have some of that um, Oh, that, that horrible yarn everybody hates but me. Um, you know what I'm talking about. That soft yarn. What is it called? Oh, gosh. I have some that um, to make lapgans, and I made a couple lapgans, but I can't think of what the name of it is. Oh, I know you guys are sitting there biting your tongue. Billy, it's. Da, 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 da. But you know, it's that lumpy stuff. But like I told you when I was making that one lap can, which Penny stays wrapped up in most of the time, um, it um, it's so soft. And when you wash it, that is just like butter. It is so soft. Now see, it just easily came off with your picker. So I'll put uh, I'll put a little dog or something or a little pen. It depends on what I find that matches it. So I'll fix that. But that is, that, that that little cat's too big. In fact, when I ordered these patches, I didn't realize they were going to be so big. And most of them are big, but so forth. Um, what else was we, was I going to talk to you about? Oh, I, I, I started, I did um, a Friday Night Live again this past Friday. It was very successful. I'm sorry I didn't let you all know ahead of time. It was just a spare of the moment thing. I was feeling good and... I wasn't too tired. I was tired, but not too tired. And I just thought it would be fun to get on and talk to everybody. Um, sometimes if you do a surprise one, you get, you're able to, you know, not so many people get on, you, you're able to, to follow it. But I had to go back and, and everything. So, um, but yeah, it was a lot of fun. I enjoyed it. I really did enjoy it. And um, I enjoyed talking to you guys. Wendy told me, uh, Wendy didn't, she was sleeping, and I should have sent her a message, but if she was sleeping, how would she know to go and write? So, I don't want to want her waking up and uh, wake her up for any reason. But, I'm going to try to do a Friday night live between 9 and 9.30, and uh, because, in, in it's pajamas. Everybody wear your pajamas and get your... Get your little snack out for the night and pajamas and we'll move on and we'll do a little chit chat. I don't have a lot. To, I had a lot to talk about, but I usually don't have that much to talk about normally. So, um, so yeah, so it was a lot of fun and I enjoyed it. And I had a great day that day with my sister and her family and uh, David and I watched movies while my sister went to the doctors and uh, all that good stuff. So today I'm trying to catch up on my orders um, for the ones that uh, I've got stuff for. I've ordered uh, more of the cozy because I've got a bunch of cozies to make. I ordered more. I don't know when it's coming in. I, you know, things are coming in really slow, very very slow. And I even some. Oh, maybe these are the hats that she sent, said they were coming. Yeah. Oh, God, I can't remember who that was. Daggone. I'm losing my mind. Well, it only took me 20 minutes to figure out today. Let me tell you. It took me about half an hour of looking through this whole house to find my... Um, slip that I had printed out um, for an order that I had cut some bowl cozies for. And the name on the order is Fiber Floozy Crafts. Fiber Floozy Crafts from Texas. Her PayPal, she gave me her PayPal name. Okay, so, and I, you know, I didn't recognize it. So the payment comes in as a different name. I'm looking all over the house to try to find the name that the PayPal name came through. I couldn't find it. It was driving me crazy. 
then I went in again and I looked and the address, that's the city and the address that she gave me matched up with her city and address that was on the PayPal thing. So that's how I'm going to, I am mean, going to go take a nap. I'm going to have a little lunch um, and then I'm going to go take a nap. I'm a little bit tired. Usually after a big day like Friday, it takes me up to about three days to recuperate. And today is the second day. So tomorrow's Monday. I thought today was Monday with the boxes keep coming in. And uh, when the UPS, this particular person from UPS comes, they tap on the door. And I thought, oh God, it must be the air conditioner people coming to inspect the air conditioner because they were coming on Monday. Well, today's Sunday, not Monday. So I'm walking to the I'm walking to the door and I'm going, just a minute, I'm coming, I'm coming. Hold your pants on, I'm coming. So I open the door and there's the two boxes, but nobody else is there. <laughs> oh gosh. How embarrassing. That's so embarrassed. So I was gonna get everything organized, but when I get so that I, I'm working and I'm yawning and I'm yawning, then it's time for me to take my nap. And then I could come back in this evening to finish uh, a couple orders so that I can get those shipped. So, uh, yeah, so I'm just real excited. So I'm going to say goodbye. Um, trying to think, you know, I hate it when I'm trying to, before I go on, I have my list. I should write them down, but I don't. That make it too easy. So then I have my list of things that I want to talk to you about or to show you and um, it goes right to never never land when I get on and start talking to you. But I've been watching, I've been watching, uh, of course you know I've been watching movies and stuff and um, I've also, today I've been watching podcasters, um, watching everybody get their little um, Christmas gifts every day. That, that's fun to watch. And um, I haven't seen anything, if anybody has an update on Llama Mama, uh, Kayla Miller. I haven't been on Facebook, but I'll go on and see if there's, I looked under the last thing that they wrote, but I haven't seen any updates. Now that was this morning. So we'll have to wait and see what, you know, what, um, what they how she's doing but she is in my thoughts and prayers but what I wanted to tell you is that it seems like that the, there's an older lady that lives down the hall and her daughter uh, met up with one of my other neighbors and told her that um, uh, Lucille had been very sick I'd say Lucille is in her mid to late 80s. She lives by herself, very independent, um, has a great sense of humor. She won't let anybody help her because she can do it. Yep, she can do it. But her daughter and uh, daughter, granddaughter help her. Her granddaughter helps out a lot, always coming over and picking her up and bringing her stuff. But it told her, told one of my neighbors that she had been very sick but that she was better but that we should be very careful and um, so the point being is be careful out in the hallways and walk and make sure we wear our masks because a lot of people around here don't and our COVID um, numbers keep going up and up and up as well as probably many of you all are in your neighborhood so um, I even worried about, you know, my sisters with the kids coming in and stuff, and I'm going, now I don't know how many days, what does it take a week if you're going to get it, so, but I think the kids were okay. I don't think they would have come up, but come over if it hadn't been. But it was just so good to see them. I felt so good. I did. I felt so good. I love kids. Other people's kids. <laughs> okay. All right, that's it. I'm out of here. I'm going to say goodbye and have a great day. Have a great week. Um, we'll see what I come up with in the next few days. But I did want to show you the how well, how cute 
these little cozies came out in. I just love this fabric. I just love it. This was given to me. Uh, uh, who sent me this? I can't remember. But anyway. So this is the fabric, and I love it. And then I bought this at Walmart the other day. I just wanted something a little different to go in than just a plain color. I got polka dots, and I got something else that has is red with something in it, but I can't remember what it is. So that's all I cut. And then I cut. I did cut, but you can't see it. Because I'm waiting for the cotton to come in. But I, <laughs> I cut the pelicans. Or the, um, what do you call them? Whatever they are. With the blue. You know, with the blue. So, where's the blue right here? With the blue. So this, this, um. I've got these cut out, and it, I think it's a set. Yeah, it's for somebody. And I got to wait for the um, cotton padding. I am out of cotton padding. I think i got to go look in there, but I might have some just a, a long one somewhere. But it would be so much work. Well, I'll have to look and see. But I'm, you know, I've got some big bag. i got a I got to do a big bag, but I got to get those cut out. But I wanted to get caught up on the orders that have already been paid, so that when, um, so I can get those wrapped and moved out. So yeah, it's not very good at organizing. I need an administrative assistant right now. <laughs> they would. There's not enough room in here for administrative assistant. It's probably not even enough room for myself okay everybody I'm out of here I'm going I'm going I'm going I'm gonna go put a new thing on this and maybe just sit and do this until I fall asleep <laughs> then I'll come back and do some more sewing later and I'm hungry so I'm gonna go fix me something to eat I took some pork chops out but I don't want to cook them right now I'll cook them tonight later I'll just do a little snack like cheese and apple or something like that right now so I'll talk to y'all later. Thank you very much for cluing in. You know, I want to welcome all you new new folks, too. Thank you so much. And thank you for watching. And we're going to try to do the Friday night. And I'll try to do a... I don't know how you do it, but... I know people do it as a... Anyway, it's Friday night, PJ. PJ party night. Friday night around 9, 9.30. Somewhere in there. I'm usually up from my nap by then. Ooh, little bug. Little bug. I did do some dishes. I did turn on the dishwasher. So I got to clean that out and all that stuff. And I got yarn to pack up. I just have so much to do. <laughs> okay, everybody. I'll talk to you later. I'm going to go fix my little coin purse here. And I'll talk to you later. Have a great week. And uh, stay safe. Wear your mask, please, everybody. All right, let me find the button here to turn you off. <laughs> so Mimi and I say, see you later, alligator. Don't. See you later, alligator. Don't let the bug bug. Uh, somebody said said that big bug. I heard it on TV. I don't know. You know, don't let the bug, don't let the bug, bed bugs bite. And then something about something, something, something. I had never heard the rest of that. I just knew that part. Listen, I'll talk to y'all later. Bye. Let me shut up right now. Bye.